All right, so if you're a fan of my channel, you'll know that some of my videos include reviews and gameplay, whether that be skins, accessories, or even vehicles. Well, every time I do one of these videos, I go to a map to review it, and I always get asked the question, what map is that and what is the map code? So unfortunately, I know absolutely nothing about making a map, zero, zilch, nothing. It's so hard for me. I thought I would be able to do it instantly and it would be super easy. It's not. UEFN is a lot harder than it looks. However, one of my good friends, his name is Brandocious, or I call him Brando, is absolutely skilled at UEFN. And even before that, he was able to make good maps. So I asked him a while back if he could make me a map that I could review stuff on. And he said, absolutely. So this is the map that I use right here. The island code is 8325. 5281-3616. So I wanted to show it off because he just updated it a little more. And I'm also looking for feedback so he can improve this map to everyone's liking. So you can check your cars here, you can check your kicks, your cosmetics, your accessories, anything you want on this map. This is the one I use in all my reviews. So if you've never seen it before, let me show you around it. And like I said, he did update it. So be sure to click the heart here and then you've got instant access up here on your top bar. Or go to your library over here, these three books. And if you favorite it, you'll see it in here as well. So just look for the Tabor Hill Cosmetic Review. So let's go in and I'll show you what he updated. So like I said, if you've seen my reviews before, you'll know exactly how this works. But you start in the slipstream up here, and that's just so you can view your glider. If you're trying out a glider up here. And you can also see your contrail here. And you'll be stuck in this slipstream until you go down a bit. Now, even if you are familiar with the map, like I said, Brando updated it. So he moved the racetrack over here. You can see my logo is now on it and he expanded the map a lot. But like I said, we're looking for suggestions to make this more worthwhile. So again, if you just barely tap your movement button, you can see your contrail and your glider up here and you'll be permanently in the slipstream. But once you go down a little bit, then you're gonna be out of it. So on this part of the map, there's always the glider redeploy. So no matter where you are, you can absolutely do that and there's no fall damage over here. So this was intended to be where I review at, but again, if you've seen my videos, I always come over here and do the review right here. So there's a wall right here where you can check the splash effect. And then over here are different materials if you wanna hit those and see the splash. Now you can also spawn a guard and a sentry, but you can't see reactivity like that. So you have to eliminate a real player. And right now in UEFN, you can't do that. There used to be decoy grenades that you could throw down and check reactivity, but that was just in Battle Lab. You can't do that yet in UEFN. However, if you do want to hit these guys, you can. But unfortunately, like I said, there's no reactivity. Of course, there's some chests over here to check. Of course, there's some chests over here to check reactivity to opening them. There's a changing booth right here as well as a weapon mod bench if you want to mess around with the scopes, if it's equipable. There's a lot of weapons over here you can check for aim down sights. That's what I do all the time. And then over here is the remote, so you can check reactivity in the dark. Now this does work, so if you have a wrap that's reactive to nighttime, just doing this will trigger the reactivity. So that 100% works. And then you can just turn the lights back on if you want. This is a checkpoint. So if you click it right now, which is square, it works, but it doesn't let you know it's working. So that'll be improved in a little bit. There will be a notification that the checkpoint is set, but that just means you're gonna spawn in this main island area if you die. And you'll spawn right here at this crystal ball. Now, if you wanna go back in the slipstream, you can do that. You can use either of these to get back up here. Super, super easy to see your glider if you wanna turn the lights off and then go back up or something like that. There's another biome over here if you want to check your skin or cosmetics in the ice or snow. So this is a little parkour time trial if you want to do this. But we're going to expand that and make it a little more fun. It's really short right now. Campfire if you want to do that. If you want to spawn a supply drop, you can do that here as well. And of course you can build too if you want. You can check your insane 90s and building skills. I can't build for squat because I'm on Combat Pro. So I also had him add a tribute to my friend Alfie who passed away. So his favorite skin is this right here. And there's a little plaque, it says in memory of Alfie. And if you talk to him, he says, hello. So that was nice. Now he did add some new stuff. 
So if you come right behind the launch pad and the jump pad, there is now a portal system. And there's a 1v1 island now. So if you want to log in here with your friends in 1v1, you can come over here. It takes you right here. You see my logos are on the walls here. Here's the Tabor Hill shield. My Drift logo, Super Saiyan. My Black Knight shield, the Super Saiyan banana. And this is still a work in progress as well. So if you do these 1v1s over here, you want to do this. Remember, it doesn't make a noise right now, but all you got to do is click it and it works. So now if I die, I'll spawn right here instead of spawning at the main island, which is where is it? way over there. So be sure to click this. And again, it will be updated. Now, right now, there's only a few weapons. Obviously, we're going to add more. This was just so I can get this out real quick. And remember, there is glider redeploy and overshield. So this is going to be fixed too. But you can turn that off with this right here. It's not working right now, but eventually we're going to enable that. So you just go in there and then you won't have glider redeploy or overshield. And if you do still want it, you can do it right here. And this is just a starting platform. So when both people touch this, it'll do a three second countdown and then you can build. And to reset, let's see if this actually works with me here. You just shoot this, pow, and it resets everything. So you can do some 1v1s over here in practice. Pretty sweet. And then you can go back to the main castle right here. And if you want to go to the racetrack, that's over here. And this is where I do all my reviews on the car and vehicle cosmetics. We added more cars now. There's not so many SUV decals and stuff, so there's not many of those right now, but tons of these. And the big Tabor Hill Black Knight shield in the middle there. Now, unfortunately, the phone booth does not allow you to change vehicles just yet, or kicks for that matter. There's no car option and there's no kicks option, which is really frustrating. So hopefully they fix that soon. So if you want to see multiple decals, you have to have someone stay on the map. So for example, I turn this car into this one. If someone is already on the map and then he stays here and I back out, I can go change my decal and then rejoin and everything will still be the same. So I do that all the time. I use my son's account and I have him join this map with me, and then I change a decal of a car, I back out, go get another decal, join back into the same lobby, change this one to another decal. That's the only way to get multiple decals at once right now. Frustrating, but that's how it works. That's everyone's, not just my map. That's how it works right now. It's dumb. And then down here to the left of these portals, there's some motorcycles, I think, yeah. Right down here, if you want to drive around, little dirt mounds down here and stuff. There's Brando's logo. Fantastic creator. So that's what we got right now. Like I said, it's a work in progress, but I use this every single time I review any skin or item or anything. And this is also reactive. If you emote near this, the gold will sparkle, which is kind of cool. So now I need your guys' help. If you want anything else added to this map, I need suggestions down below. Anything. Just let me know and we'll see if it's possible to do. I want to see a lot of people play this map because Brando worked hard on it. And I feel like I owe it to him because I use it all the time. Like I said, I did not create this. This is not mine. This is his 100%. And I'm trying to help him out here. Give me some ideas. What do you want to see added? Do you want to see more parkour stuff? Do you want to see some kind of death run? Anything you want, we can try to add. Just let me know in the comments. Now, I also want to make this fun. So, for example, I like to join in here on public matches. And people join me all the time. Now, obviously, when I do my reviews, I do them on private so nobody messes me up. But I think I'm going to start hopping in randomly and chatting with people. So there's a chance that I could be on this map at any given time if you put it on public. And we can chat, we can talk, we can look at skins, we can fight if you want. You can fight here too if you want. I think there's even a build reset somewhere. Let's see, I'll have to put a build reset over here as well. Let me see if this removes all the builds. Okay, that does. So it does work over here, even though it says spawn guard. So maybe I'll have him put a shooting one over here as well so it can disable all the builds. And we were thinking about updating this castle. Right now you can't go in it, but I was going to put some awesome rooms and some Easter eggs and stuff. Maybe we'll put some like Call of Duty-esque Easter eggs in there where if you find them, you can tag me on Twitter. I was even thinking about Easter eggs for a play session. So if we have this really hard Easter egg and you finish it, then you can tag me on Twitter. And then we can do some duos or trios or squads or whatever. I'll join your party and we can play a few games. But I just thought it would be cool for me to just randomly join this map and then interact with the fans that are on here to begin with. 
But again, leave me some suggestions down below. We're also going to put XP on it. Right now, there's limited XP, but we're going to put XP for a limb, Lovely. XP for movement, for driving cars, for everything, so you can earn tons of experience while you're playing around on this map. And if you have any more interaction ideas for me for this map, like I said earlier, like me just randomly joining or having an Easter egg that allows you to have a play session with me, anything like that, let me know suggestions for that too. Maybe some kind of leaderboard and whoever has the most points will get a follow on Twitter or another play session with me or something like that. Any interaction that involves me that you want to see, let me know in the comments as well. Just any ideas whatsoever to get more improvements to this map and hopefully get a few people on here at any given point. But if you're looking to review some skins, this is definitely the map for you. The map code one more time and I'll link this in the description as well as a pinned comment. 8325-5281-3616. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time. See, I got some XP right there but there's gonna be a lot more XP added to this map very soon.